Once upon a time, in an enchanted forest, there lived three adorable little pigs named Tobias, Matthew and Benicio. They each dreamed of building their own home, but they had very different ideas about how to do it. The first little pig, Tobias, was a practical and economical little pig. He decided to build his house with straw, thinking it would be quick and easy. Tobias believed that, with less effort, he would have more time to have fun. However, his brothers warned about the fragility of straw. But Tobias laughed and said there was no time to waste. The second little pig, Matthew, was an ambitious little pig and wanted a house that was beautiful and sturdy. She chose to build her home with wood, believing it would provide comfort and durability. Matthew worked diligently to ensure his home was solid and safe. The third little pig, Benicio, was an innovative little pig. He decided to build his house using bricks as he wanted something really sturdy and long-lasting. Benicio believed that the investment would be worth it in the long term. While his brothers built their houses, Benicio dedicated time and effort to create something exceptional. One day, a dark shadow began to hover over the forest. It was the big bad wolf, a cunning being who had learned about the piglet's constructions. The wolf, hungry and malicious, decided to pay the little pigs a visit. The wolf first went to Tobias' straw house. He blew hard and the house collapsed in the blink of an eye. Tobias ran to Matthew's wooden house, hoping it was sturdy enough. However, the wolf managed to knock down the wooden house with a few strong blows. Finally, the wolf arrived at Benicio's brick house. He blew with all his might, but the house stood firm. Benicio had built a house so solid that not even the big bad wolf could tear it down. The piggies learned a valuable lesson about the importance of planning and investing time and effort in their goals. Together, they decided to use the brick house as a base and founded a magical city where all the animals in the forest could live in harmony. And so, the magical town of the three little pigs became a place of prosperity, friendship and security where all residents appreciated the lessons learned on the journey to build their homes and achieve their dreams. And they lived happily ever after in the magical city they built together. Once upon a time, on a small planet called B612, there was an adorable little prince with golden hair and curious eyes. He spent his days tending to his rose, which bloomed on his planet. However, the little prince felt that there was something more out there, something beyond the borders of his tiny home. One starry night, while observing the sky, the little prince saw a shooting star that inspired him to explore the vast universe. Driven by an inexplicable desire for discovery, he decided to build an improvised spaceship with the resources available on his planet. Before leaving, the little prince said goodbye to his beloved Rose, promising to return with exciting stories to share. With a heart full of hope, he embarked on his interstellar journey. As he travelled from planet to planet, the little prince encountered peculiar creatures, each with their own story and life lesson. He met an asteroid inhabited by a wise ant who taught him about hard work and cooperation and a moon where dreaming beings lived who inspired him to keep his dreams alive. On his journey, the little prince visited strange and surreal planets where the concept of time was fluid and the landscapes constantly changed. On one of these planets, 
he discovered a cosmic clock that made him reflect on the importance of each moment. On his travels, the little prince befriended a lonely star that shone with sadness. He discovered that the star had lost its neighboring constellation and was feeling lonely in the vast universe. Compassionately, the little prince promised to help her find her way back home. The little prince's adventure continued, taking him to distant and exotic places. He learned valuable lessons about friendship, compassion and respect for diversity. Each encounter and experience contributed to his growth as a cosmic being. Finally, after many adventures, the little prince decided it was time to return to his beloved planet B612. He returned home with stories to tell, cosmic gifts for his Rosa, and a heart filled with gratitude for all. The wonders he had discovered in the vast universe. The little prince realized that although the universe was immense and full of wonders, the true meaning of life was rooted in the relationships we build, the love we share, and the importance of caring for each other. And so, the little prince, with his rose blooming more radiantly than ever, continued to live on his little planet, carrying with him the memories of his incredible adventures beyond the stars. And whenever he looked up at the night sky, he knew that even in the vastness of space, he was never truly alone. Once upon a time, in a small village surrounded by a dense forest, there lived a sweet girl named Clara, affectionately known as Little Red Riding Hood because of the red cape her grandmother had given her. Clara was a curious child, always eager for adventures. One day, her mother asked Clara to take a basket of sweets and fruits to her grandmother, who lived on the other side of the forest. Remember Clara, stay on the path and don't talk to strangers, warned her mother, kissing her on the forehead. The forest was silent and mysterious as Clara walked along the trail. She hummed a cheerful tune to dispel any nervousness she might feel. Little did she know, that a cunning wolf, known as Mr. Thorn, was watching her every move. The wolf, with gleaming eyes, decided to devise a plan to deceive Little Red Riding Hood and reach her grandmother's house first. He knew secret shortcuts through the forest and was determined to sow confusion. Upon arriving at her grandmother's house, Clara sensed that something was amiss. The door was ajar and a sense of worry enveloped her. Upon entering, she found Mr. Thorne dressed as her grandmother, lying in bed. Grandma, you look different today, remarked Clara, noticing the wolf's grey fur. Before she could fully comprehend the situation, Clara's true spirit of adventure emerged. With cleverness, she persuaded the wolf to reveal his malicious plans. Meanwhile, the forest birds flew to alert the other villagers. The villagers rushed to the grandmother's house where, through teamwork, they managed to thwart the cunning wolf and ensure the safety of Clara and her grandmother. From that day on, Clara's story, Little Red Riding Hood, became an example of courage and cleverness in the village. The once feared forest became a place of respect and Clara learned that true adventure lies in facing challenges with wisdom and bravery. And so, the tale of Little Red Riding Hood gained a new chapter of courage and cooperation. Once upon a time, in a distant kingdom called Etherealis, where magic flowed through the fields and forests like a gentle stream of light. In this kingdom, there lived a princess named Elise, whose golden hair shone like rays of sunlight and whose eyes reflected the purity of her heart. The kingdom of Etherealis was known for its magical diversity with enchanted creatures, dancing fairies and talking trees. 
Elise, in turn, had the special gift of communicating with animals, from the smallest squirrels to the majestic dragons that flew above the sky. One day, a mysterious shadow began to spread across the kingdom. Magical plants began to wither, and the light that had always bathed Etherealis was slowly disappearing. Worried about the fate of her kingdom, Elise set out on an epic journey to discover the source of this darkness. On her journey, Elise found unlikely allies, such as a wise gnome who knew the secrets of the land, a fearless fairy who mastered the winds, and a brave knight in shining armour. Together, they traversed enchanted forests, crossed crystal rivers, and climbed mountains of pure magic. They faced frightening challenges, such as the labyrinth of dreams, where reality mixed with imagination, and the tower of illusions, where each step was a dance with the unknown. The group's friendship grew with each challenge overcome, strengthening them to face the evil that threatened Etherealis. In the heart of the kingdom, they discovered that an ancient witch, driven by a deep bitterness, had cast a spell to steal the light of Etherealis. With compassion in her heart, Elise tried to persuade the witch to abandon her thirst for revenge, offering her hope and friendship. The witch, touched by Elise's kindness, began to transform. The darkness that enveloped Etherealis began to dissipate, revealing the beauty and magic that had always been present. The witch, now an ally, used her knowledge to restore light to the kingdom. With the return of light, Etherealis flourished more than ever. Magical creatures danced with joy, and flowers bloomed in vibrant colors. Elise became a wise and compassionate leader, uniting her kingdom based on understanding and acceptance. The story of Elise and her friends has been told for generations in Etherealis, a fairy tale that reminded everyone that true magic lies in the power of friendship, compassion, and redemption. And so, the enchanted kingdom of Etherealis lived happily ever after. Once upon a time, in a small village nestled at the edge of an enchanted forest, lived a young and kind-hearted girl named Belle. She was known for her love of books and her curiosity that surpassed the boundaries of her provincial life. Belle's father, Maurice, was an inventor whose eccentricities often made him the subject of ridicule in the village. One day, Maurice set out on a journey to showcase his latest invention at a fair. However, he lost his way in the dense forest and stumbled upon a mysterious and enchanted castle. Unbeknownst to Maurice, the castle was home to a prince who had been cursed and transformed into a fearsome beast. When Morris plucked a rose from the castle garden, the beast, angered by the intrusion, captured him. Learning of her father's disappearance, Belle set out to find him, and upon discovering the castle, offered to take her father's place as the beast's prisoner. In the beginning, Belle was frightened by the beast's appearance and gruff demeanor. However, as time passed, she discovered that beneath the exterior of the fearsome creature lay a wounded soul yearning for redemption. The enchanted objects in the castle, including Lumiere the Candelabra, Cogsworth the Clock, Mrs. Potts the Teapot, and Chip the Teacup, revealed the curse that bound the prince. To break the spell, the beast needed to learn to love and be loved in return before the last petal of an enchanted rose fell. As Belle and the beast spent more time together, a bond formed between them. Belle saw beyond the beast's exterior 
and into the kind heart that lay beneath. In return, the beast discovered a warmth and compassion within himself that he had long forgotten. Meanwhile, back in the village, a handsome but arrogant hunter named Gaston sought Belle's hand in marriage. Unbeknownst to him, Belle's heart belonged to the beast and she longed to break the curse that held him captive. As the final petal of the enchanted rose began to fall, the beast's transformation seemed imminent. Belle rushed back to the castle just in time to confess her love. In that moment of selfless love, the curse was broken and the beast was restored to his princely form. The once enchanted objects in the castle also transformed back to their original selves. The castle, which had been shrouded in darkness, now gleamed with a newfound light. Belle and the prince, now revealed as Adam, danced in the grand ballroom, surrounded by their friends who had been released from the enchantment. And so, Belle and Adam lived happily ever after, their love proving that true beauty lies within. The tale of beauty and the beast became a legend, a story of love, transformation, and the enduring magic that can be found in the unlikeliest of places.